War Eve was true mastermind behind Diablo and Bale. War Eve is literally just... Oh, I've just completely... War Eve's really Lilith in disguise. That would be horrifying. He just cracks and pops and transforms into the Demon Queen. <laughs> oh, goodness. Is Let's see. So once you have a paladin in hell and can do chaos, is it ever worth it to farm Mephisto anymore? If you can farm hell chaos, there are still reasons to farm nightmare Mephisto. I not necessarily I wouldn't necessarily say hell Mephisto for a farming location. There's reasons to farm nightmare Mephisto, but I would probably stick with chaos over hell Mephisto. Yes. There's very few reasons to do otherwise. Is 1 to 350 lightning damage bow good item? By the way, you're level 26. For level 26, it's fine. It's going to get you through the rest of normal, even a little bit into nightmare possibly, with that amount of damage. But you are going to have very wildly varying damage. So you are going to have enemies that you just don't damage for the first couple hits. Because guess what? <laughs> you're getting low rolls. But it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and show that. Show, dang you. Thank you. So I can actually see the message. For sure it's one of the most fun spots, especially with the new grab. Yeah. Sanctuary is one of the best farming spots in the game, too. You have the finger mages for good rune drops. You have Diablo for a boss kill, You have which is higher level than Mephisto. You have all the level 85 to 88 enemies, depending on whether they're just normal enemies or uniques. You have all kinds of stuff going on there. Um, this is a hybrid boson. We're going to do charge strike and just multi-shot, mostly. We have guided arrow for just in case, though. The character in D2 isn't really that nice to people at all. You think that most NPCs are fleshed out as assholes in one capacity or another. Yeah, they all have their dark sides. E even Kane has a little bit of, like, he is a bad person at times. But you understand why he does what he does. Can Diablo drop everything? No. Yes and no. Okay, he can drop every unique. <laughs> but, actually no, he might not be able to drop every unique. I forget if his treasure class allows it. That one I'd actually have to double check on, now that I think about it. But the enemies around him, like the normal uniques, not the super uniques can drop every item in the game, except for very specific charms, of which Diablo can drop. Because level, level 89 is poison, then you have 90, 91, and 92 for each of the other elements of the... Let's go ahead and kill all these. Let's see. <laughs> Aiming for the enemies, but... Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. Uh, is cows the best to farm bases or gray items with slots? Uh, I would say it's a really good place. Not necessarily the best. If you're doing it offline, put it on Players 5. Um, if you're going to be farming them and you can actually kill them on Players 5. That'll get you the best opportunity to get the bases from there. There are some bases that they can't drop, but they're few and far between and you're probably not worrying about those specifically. So, yeah, as far as just general farming bases for most of the things you're going to be running across, yes, they are the best. There are some things they can't drop. Kane has a huge case of FOMO? What? <laughs> Fear of missing out, huh? Oh, goodness gracious. Stay a while and give me a back rub. What, old man? <laughs> But yeah, Players 5 is... I mean, if you can't handle it on Players 5, Players 3 will do just fine. But Players 5 is kind of where you're going to be getting... Most of the enemies are going to drop an item, so you get a lot of different roles. Players 3 does something similar, but it's not quite as much. Uh, players 7 and Players 8, as far as going through to get bases, it isn't worth it. You don't get much more than Players 5, and you don't get nearly as much kill speed from it. It doesn't justify the extra kill time, basically. Decker Kane is Herbert the Pervert? Uh, not quite Herbert the Pervert, but 
He has he does have a fear of missing out. I'm not sure which one would be the equivalent of Herbert the pervert here. Uh I can't I don't think there's one that I could actually peg as a Herbert the pervert clone. So, hmm. Oh, we just teleported. That's not friendly. If going for a giant thresher base over thresher, I hunt an ancient cavern icy cellar over cows. Dangerous. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. But generally speaking, there's plenty of places to farm stuff like bases. If you're looking for a very specific base, that's whenever you start diving into some kind of odd territories. But it's okay. Because what you can do is use Silas Spin and actually look for the specific item. Because due to treasure classes and stuff like that, different enemies do have different opportunities to drop stuff. Like, for example, if you're looking for Scolder's Ire in Nightmare Difficulty, you actually want to be killing Diablo, not Mephisto, even though they both can drop it. Diablo has the better chance because he generally favors the Splint Mail base. Uh, Paladin is fun. You quit D2R online, but you can always come back. You enjoy offline now and just do backups once in a while on your PC. Ah! Yeah, I play, I play mostly single player as well. That's why I'm not too worried about, like, I don't need people to give me items. I have all the items I need in single player because I farmed them in LOD and I can transfer over my saves. Main reason I do the online one is so that we can do, like, multiplayer nights and stuff like that. Uh, Sean Connery! Oh, no. I wager a buck, Trebek. <laughs> Please tell me someone at least knows that Saturday Night Live skit. Um, is that who I think it is? Yeah, it is. Wow, that that is actually a weird spot for it to spawn, but I mean, it it, it works. Uh, snarf, snarf, snarf. You got everything for infinity, including the F Thresher base. Just short one bear rune. Oh no! Go find Yogi. Oh no! 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 No. No. No means no, you guys. Jeez. No. Get away. Oh, goodness. I saw the little skeletons and I was like, hmm, this is going to end badly. <laughs> Bye. I got you now, Trebek. Oh, God. Continue your Paladin in D2 LOD. Started playing it at two months before D2R dropped uh, to get ready and refresh the game. Yeah, that's actually a good plan. I actually recommended a few people start if they were interest if they had the original game at least cuz that will get you back used to it. And if you have the original game now, there are things that are different in D2R and LOD, so Okay, let's see. Once you find your blizzard source, we'll switch to chain lightning. Ah. Yeah, infinity and chain lightning is a very good combo. I have thought about doing a strange sorceress a while back with Crescent Moon, but we'll see. Just got clocking in. Turd Ferguson, it's funny. Ah, <laughs> yes. Recently got in... Got... Oh, insight for your mercenary. So, good to span hammers. No need for mana. Cool. I'll take famous titles for 300, Alex. <laughs> I'll take an album bum cover. I'm not actually going to say what he said on the show, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's pop that back up so I can approve the message. Nice. So now we can make ourselves a flail, finish off this godforsaken act. What is the worst act and why is it always act three? Um, this is the water level of Diablo 2, <laughs> for anyone that's wondering. Let's see. Stat-wise, let's go and get some more decks just in case. Uh, what's a good budget pair of boots for Nightmare? Just any rares you can get, honestly. Oh, uh, man, you still have the original boxes for D2 and LOD. No, I'm, I'm still looking through, like, all my old boxes and trying to find my, like... I had the Diablo 2 D&D cards, like, that you could punch out and make the little maps with. And I had the character sheets for it, but I can't seem to find them. I have the PDFs of them, though, so... Trouble comes in threes. Aha. Great Stats are a lie. Do you have any ideas of, for any type of rune words you would like to see added to D2R when released? Oh, 
sadder rune words. I would like to see, like, themed rune words, honestly. I know that flies in the face of it, but I would love to see, like, an ice theme season or a fire theme season and have just a group of rune words based around that. I would also like to see a season where we actually get class specific ones for each class. Say, a new claw. Oh, there's still some of you alive. Hi, Vile Hand. You need to be going that way. So get away from me. There we go. I thought I killed them all. Paladin bow builds are always fun, yes. But any type of rune word I'd like to see. I would like to see a season where they give us a barb helm rune word, a druid helm rune word, a necro head, a paladin shield rune word, a claw rune word, and a Amazon bow rune word. That would actually, or Amazon bow or Amazon spear. It could be in both rune word. That would just make it more in line with what they've done with some of them because there is a paladin shield specific rune word. There is a claw specific rune word. I would like to see that expanded. But that's just me. What's a rare or unique helm you saw on the ground? Um, that? That's a rare. I am overburdened. We can, we can look at it in a minute. It's not going to have anything too amazing. Most it could probably have around this point would be maybe... I'm trying to think. It might be able to get the plus percent attack rating. But no, it's just garbage. And yes, I do think every rune word, even ladder specific rune words, should be available offline. Like, if they add new ladder rune words, it should be made available in offline mode. I don't necessarily need it in non ladder online play, but I would like to see if they do a six month season, I would like to see new, new rune words every season. If they do a three month season, every other season would be fine, and then retire them to the off ladder season as well. If they do a three-month season, then you could actually have that injection into the economy before people can make it, so people could sell them at inflated prices or trade them for inflated things, and then you'd have them brought in at the six-month mark. Erdar's wearing Santa hats? Oh, no. Please don't. Don't don't give them ideas like that. We already had Nasty Diablo. But that was back in the days whenever Blizzard was Blizzard. Uh, let's see... Think you discussed a season where only level one skills. Would you consider adding max skill sort of run where you can't take a new skill before maxing it out? Oh, before maxing out a previous one? Um, I could probably do that. I'd play a sorceress first, but I could do that. I would 100% be able to do that. What's the easiest rune to find? Your mother, Trebek! Oh... Such a sad fate for that guy, but... Oh, we ha we are on the wrong thing there. There we go. We're down to 70 arrows? Oh, no. Let's stack that back up. I don't want to run out of bolts down here. That would actually be kind of painful. And if you're wondering, Guided Arrow... Here, let's actually switch over to Guided Arrow real quick. You'll notice that it goes after the unique, primarily. If it's one of the closest ones. It favors it. It doesn't always go for it, but it favors it. If you just blind fire. But, yeah, I'm not too focused in on it. We're mostly going to be using Guided Arrow for bosses. As far as easiest rune to find, it's going to be Tal Rune. If, you're actually, if you, if you want to know the real answer to that. But your mother, Torbeck, is a lot more fun to say. So we are at level 16 on that. That's nice. Well, these guys are not going to be fun. Go away, assholes. I hate these little things. They're not the worst enemy in the game. That's still Gloams, but they are definitely not fun. Ouch. <laughs> See why? Hurts. Oh, and there were champions in there too. Nice. Let's go and grab the Flawless Sapphire. Uh, this is softcore. I don't play hardcore online just because I don't like dying to uh, lag. 
Uh, fire resist 16%. That might actually be sadly better than some... No, we have a 22. That's fine. I say that might actually be better than something we have because we're still using garbage gear. We, we have beaten the game. This will be the fourth character to beat the game. So we've beaten the game three times. We still have garbage gear. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Bad. Double swing is actually a very powerful skill. It's the easiest one to get up to... 600 to Al, what is Tal? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Jeopardy. Love hearing people's ideas for new and future content. Have heard some good ideas when asking around. I've been thinking about doing a video on like what features I would like to see or what changes I would like to see to D2R. But at the same time, those usually met with um, brigading and dislike bombs, which I'm kind of like, and I don't want to deal with that at my size. Same reason I don't generally name creators very often. Ah. Except in positive lights, because I don't like dealing with the drama nonsense. I am not a drama queen. Uh, Doll's Guide to Runes, just add Tal. <laughs> oh, I just had a horrible nasty joke with Tal in it. Oh no. How do you stop the chase chafing? <sighs> Will I be playing D4 if when it comes out? We'll see what my situation is then. I would like to. I have a feeling it's not going to be that amazing. But I would like to. Change nothing else. No changes. I mean, one thing I would change is I would actually make it so you have three personal stash tabs and one shared stash tab. That's one thing I would absolutely change. I'd be perfectly fine with more rune words. More, not necessarily bloat, but just more options. Especially in the mid tiers are things that I would like to see. Yeah, people aren't going to use them a ton, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Is it granted that there will be game-changing changes, meaning besides the quality of life, like quick cast? I doubt they're going to change that much. They don't want the backlash right now. <laughs> what am I going to do on Sundays? Uh, do, do I need to make Alzerath's version of Drama Alert or whatever it was called? The I'm forgetting the guy's name. I know he was, like, banned from several places and stuff. <laughs> Keemstar, I think, was his name. The only way he got around it was because, basically, he formed a company so that he could still do the videos and stuff just under the company name rather than his because he can't have an AdSense account. You do enjoy the convenience changes and the paint job? Yeah, I can understand that. Genre defining does not always mean it de de did things exceptionally well. <laughs> I mean, oh lordy. Baldur's Gate was genre defining, but there have definitely been some major improvements to that genre. Holy crap. I, as far as, as an expansion, I would like to see one, but I don't know where they would go with it. There's not much wiggle room for them to do. Like, they could do a prelude, and that would add an act to the beginning. But then you'd have to rebalance all the remaining acts, which would be a royal pain in the ass. So, it's like, eh. Why is all of Act 3 bad juju? The map feels like it takes forever. Act 2 can be lengthy, but damn. <laughs> it's a toss-up between Act 2 and Act 3 as to which one's my least favorite. I hate these little guys swarming up on my butts. I can't see them very well in this. Unfortunately. Ow. But yeah, I can't see the little skeleton dudes because they're darker skeletons on this and they just blend in. That is one problem that I've been having with D2R. Is in the dark areas you really can't see stuff like that and that was one of the key things that kind of gave you a heads up back in the day. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they do, you're going to open your wallet. Uh, I'm not a massive blizzard follower I like Diablo I like the game I like what they used to do with it 
I'm kind of neutral as far as any new games they release. I was not impressed with Overwatch and Hearthstone, but they're there. I need <laughs> Act 3 is under Mephisto's influence. Hate, 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 hate. Play Act 3 as Rabies Jr. You've been to look a lot more kindly, I feel. The pygmy plagues make you smile. I had some okay luck with that. Not not amazing, but okay. This is going to be the... Nope, that's not even the stairs. Why? Yeah, once you get into Nightmare, down here just stretches on forever. I want the waypoint, though, because we will probably need to farm Mephisto at some point on this account. A mercenary rebalance would be very nice. I would not go as extreme as some people do. For those of you curious, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of like completely retooling them, but there are changes like giving Act 3 mercenaries it's masteries, not. giving Act 1 mercenaries more options for their attacks, such as upgrading to... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the exploding ice arrow. And actually exploding fire arrow is fine too. But giving them upgraded arrow shots would be a good thing. Even even possibly introducing a physical one with strafe or multi-shot. Yeah, Diablo brings it back for you. I, I miss the philosophies between the original Diablo and Diablo 2. Back whenever Blizzard North was still a thing. And no, even if you reassembled all the people from back then, it wouldn't be the same. Because they, they've moved on. They've actually changed over to more modern design principles in their newer games. They're still the same game designers, but over time you do learn and change what you design. And I'm going to back up here because I thought I heard a Skelly Bro. Or a little Skelly Pygmy, that is. Oh, she got some bright red armor. Jeez. Looking like Samus over here. Get that. Let's see. Give auras to other act mercs and people would use them. Yeah, they probably would. Or give them more equipment options. Like have act five mercenaries be able to use any two-handed weapon. Like if they have a pole arm, switch them over to a pole arm. Maybe have that influence what skills they can use. I don't know. That way you hire one mercenary and it changes what skill they use based on what equipment you have on them. You would see people pre-buffing with them. Which would actually be kind of cool. I, 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 my big issue with Hearthstone, for those of you that are curious, is not that it's a poorly made game. It's actually... It runs smoothly. It's fun. The big drawback is they tried to pass it off as a level of competitive that it it's unreasonable to expect from it. Because the way it works, and this is not going to be it, but the way it works is the amount of RNG in it, and I'm not even talking about like RNG on the cards, I'm talking about RNG in the deck building, is so much higher than it is for other card games that it's actually noticeable to anyone who's played card games a lot. You want to see an assassin hireling? Uh, if they did that, it would probably need to replace the Iron Wolves. I'm not sure it would fit on Act 4. Can you not? I think we want to go this way. No, we do want to be over there, though. For some reason, I was thinking that was an elevated platform. But yeah, there, there's a lot of potential with D2. I wouldn't mind if they just built Diablo 4 on top of Diablo 2. That would actually be perfectly fine with me. I would live with the stamina to have this but with a Diablo 4 story because this is fine and I have a feeling looking at it graphically Diablo 4 is going to look like this place Iron Wolves imagine an Ironling that casts Cloak of Shadows and Mind Blast for you then you'd just be replacing oh no 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 I, I was pinned in there and I didn't realize it until after I was completely pinned are we gonna get? Are we gonna be level fifty by the time we get to freaking Mephisto at this rate? I'm reading chat more than I'm actually focusing on the game now. So, <laughs> apologies. Okay, let's see. But yeah, replacing the Iron Wolves would be fine by me. I do have a soft spot for them. 
Don't get me wrong there, and I would love to see them more fleshed out, but if there was an assassin, it would probably replace Act 3, and then we'd have an elemental Iron Wolf similar mercenary from Act 4. Um, but yeah, if you had a an assassin that was casting Cloak of Shadows and Mind Blast, it would just be replacing the assassin summon, unfortunately, as far as like... It would basically be mirror functionality. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had a discussion before about Benton's being a fire, cold, and ice skill, but I checked on Amazon Base and it's not in Benton's. Vengeance, you mean? Okay. Amazon base. Let, let's let's talk about what fire skill is. Fire skill is important for things like mage fist. Fire skill is not. It has zero things to do with fire mastery. Has zero things to do with fire damage, and it has zero things to do with pretty much anything except for plus skills. Period. The way vengeance works is it deals the elemental damages, and then masteries are applied to it. Uh, rainbow facets, your phoenix weapons, your phoenix shields and stuff like that act like the mastery effects. They affect any and all damage of that type. So it's it's not a, an issue of it being a fire skill or not. It being a fire skill or not just means that Mage Fist does not give it plus skills. That's it. And Leaf does not give it plus skills. That's all that is... A thing on there. Try cows for some four open socket monarchs. Yeah, that's a good place to get them. As far as you understood, D4 will be heavily inspired by D2, not D3. My issues with Diablo 4 is it's almost guaranteed going to be always online DRM, for those of you that are curious, which pisses me off. It's going to be leaning a little bit more into not necessarily MMO territory, but in the weird mid space where things interact. Uh, fire facets, they do not care if something's a fire skill or not. Fire facets work like masteries. Um, rainbow facets, sorry. Act like masteries. They don't care if a skill is counted as fire, ice, or whatever. It's the damage type that they care about. The facets, it may say fire skill damage. It doesn't care. It, that's just bad phrasing. It literally w it will boost vengeance. Period. <laughs> but yes, and hexfire. Sorry, yeah, that's another plus skill one. But yeah, facets do not care if it's considered a fire skill or not. That's just bad writing on there. The fire facets work just like mastery where they do a boost to any of that type of damage. If it's fire damage, facets will work on it, whether it's from Vengeance, Fireball, I'm trying to think of some other ones, Fire Arrow, Corpse Explosion actually is impacted by them. Although Corpse Explosion is also boosted by, by plus fire skills, so. Uh, if Diablo 4 releases in D2R is still more popular, uh, that would actually be hilarious, but I don't think we're going to see D4 for at least, I don't think we're going to see it until 2024 at the earliest. That's my thought on it. We might see it before then, but I don't think so. Next ladder you want to make full Griswold with 12 facet vengeance. Um, I am work. This is going to be a little bit of a preview. I'm working on a vengeance build video. I have also thought about doing a Tau series or sorry, Dao series, because there is a thing called the Dao of poison. And I've thought about taking that a step further as a video series, but we'll see if that works out. And Vengeance would be on that list. Hey, Huntron, how's it going? Uh, imagine if a mercenary could use skills on weapons like a Flame Bellow Act 5 mercenary would be funny. Yeah, it would. Uh, Shadow Master and Shadow Warrior are both bad for traps in because they replace... Yes and no. Shadow Master generally is a little bit irritating with tra traps, but you can just outcast them. It's fine. Shadow Warrior, you can do a trick called Super Traps. 
It's not commonly done, and it's not really super useful, but there is a way to, with manipulating your plus skills and stuff whenever you're casting them, and manipulating your trap levels and stuff like that, where you can have basically your Shadow Warrior be casting the traps, like say Lightning Sentry, with not 20 points in Masteries like what you have, but rather it would be a level 25 Lightning Sentry trap with... 25 points of synergy from charge bolt trap 25 points of synergy from death sentry trap making the traps even stronger than your personal traps there are ways to do that with shadow warrior it takes a lot of planning but it it works that way uh mercenaries should be able to wear belts and heal themselves that would be nice throw potions on them every now and then wonder if ladder rune words will still be viable in non-ladder as soon as season one starts probably uh, but then again, we don't hear Wahid or Emilio casually saying thanks with the... <laughs> Maybe they'll say thanks each time they drink one out of their potion. Thanks for the beer! Oh, oh. Jug, jug. Shadow Master traps count towards your own trap total? Yes. Okay. What's my favorite set and why is it Saigon's? Hey, Jack. Thank you for the top chat, and I will get to work on that. It's actually a lot more interesting and complicated than people think. Vengeance is able to be manipulated and it's able to be manipulated more than even i thought at first i've been researching it the past couple weeks and getting a lot of information specifically for a build and saigon's is a very amazing set especially for low levels my favorite set overall though is tal's trangs is nice too play assassin a lot never knew that yeah there's a lot of just little idiosyncrasies in the game uh one thing i do is worth noting no matter what build videos do, I'm not exploiting that attack speed bug. I'm not playing that game. Okay, so he's lightning enchanted. This is going to not hurt very much because we already killed him. Sweet. And we already summoned a new Valkyrie. One thing I don't like about peace is that scream whenever you summon a new one. Uh, do you know where I can find Trangul scales? Hell difficulty. It's probably going to be your easiest time to find it. Um, there isn't really a specific location to farm specific items. There are enemies that do favor dropping plate mail, and those would be your best bets, but there really isn't a specific one. And let's go ahead and take that down. And once I do the next Vengeance build video, I'm going to probably be do replacing the old Vengeance video with it. So that one will go unlisted. It'll still be available, it'll just be unlisted. I use a full towel set source offline. <laughs> so I do have a bias there. That's the only set that I use the full set of offline. Uh, as far as like a daily runner build. In the next patch, you can now cast skills directly with the push of a button. That will be nice. That means you can now have other skills on your left and right click. How does that affect whether you'll use shadow? Um, I'll probably still use shadows, but I'll be using different builds for sure. You're geeking out over elemental damage charms with vengeance. You'll want to stay tuned for that video, definitely then, Jack, because that may not... Elemental damage charms may not be the best way to go. In fact, 320s may actually be the way to go. You've not touched the attack speed bug thinking it's going to get patched. No point in making a build around it when it's going to change if and when it is. I, I have a feeling we'll see a patch for it. It's going to be a while, though, because they've known about it. It's been announced to them for months. Well, a month and a half. Sorry. Almost two months. Um, it'll be two months in a, about a week. <laughs> You've not touched the attack. Okay, let's see. Miso soap in your experience. You don't? Oh, yeah. There, there isn't a specific area to farm items. Uh, the first low rune drop today off Andy. You want to make Fort what base to use for a bows on? You have four socket bone weave. I would use light armor. That's the only recommendation I have. Bone Weave is medium. Uh, Hel Mephisto was Silo uh, I would probably farm Chaos Sanctuary instead of Hell Mephisto because it's just going to get you more drop options at it. But other than that, yeah, Hell Difficulty, just late Hell Difficulty for Trangs. Um, but for the low rune, I would usually... I mean, currently we have one in our stash here in a... Oh, crap, I'm forgetting what it's called. Wire Fleece. But pretty much any light armor will work, so you can actually run at a decent speed. 
Uh, let's see. You wonder when chat comes to console? I don't know. They're not giving much love to uh, console, and it's kind of irritating. You just bitter lost Tal's breastplate and masks a few days ago due to double corpses. No! I'm sorry, Huntron. That's always a bad feeling, especially just losing stuff like that. You've got a great hauberk waiting for that low rune to drop for a fortitude. Yeah, that's a good one. Great hauberks are fairly decent. I would go with, like, the shrouds and stuff like that. The elite difficulty ones. Think server stability and ladder are priority at the moment, for sure. I, th I think they need to bump the increased attack speed one up quite a bit. But yeah, there there's... Some people don't understand the mechanics of Vengeance. So there's going to be some things that are going to be definitely a bit different in that video. We are running out of bolts. No. Let's see. Your hardcore level 78 Necro got one tap by Desace Minions and Nightmare. Ouch. Um, I'm not sure sure if it applies would apply to well if he was extra fast you could but the big threat as far as the monsters increased attack speed are the frenzy tours those things can actually get some pretty nasty speed going with frenzy especially if they are fanaticism or extra fast oh ouch 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 nope 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 uh, i think our mercenary is actually bugged yeah our mercenary must have gotten bugged somewhere along the way So we're going to cheese this. But yeah, the IAS bug is a problem. In more than just a few ways. Been farming for weeks on... Okay, let's see. Also, what's better for Orb Wall? Sorceress plus three cold skill amulet or Talrosh's amulet? For Orb Wall, I would probably go with Talrosh's. Frenzy Tar boss packs are freaking scary. I'll show off the... Hopefully I'll remember to show off whenever on this next build our encounter with a multiple boss pack group of frenzy doors on the build and we we survived our mercenary didn't but yeah. Yes, a build that survived multiple boss pack frenzy doors. You don't yeah, mage plate only rolls up to 3. You you need light armor. <laughs> Success. Not Let's mage plate. Kill. There's something not well, right. mage plate is light armor, but it's three socket. That's one reason why mage plate is used so much for Enigma as well. So let's see. Any of these that I really I want to bother with? Not really. I'll take them, but. Mm, defender. Yeah, we can take a defender. I'm not going to bother opening the chest back there. We are low on bolts. We'll just go through. <laughs> 